Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be unboxing this massive classic edition of Metal Slug 3 for the PlayStation Vita so that we can play it using our massive arcade stick on our little PlayStation TV game console. <laughs> Isn't that cute? All right, let's get this unboxed so that we can hook it all up and play it. All right, so the Metal Slug 3 Classic Edition comes in this box that is like sort of a replica of a Neo Geo cartridge box, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, pretty nice quality and looks a lot like the Neo Geo cartridge boxes. Of course, this is a Neo Geo game originally, so it only makes sense. And it's kind of cool. It looks like a Limited Run has been doing this with uh, some of their Neo Geo releases. All right, so inside we have the instruction manual. And this instruction manual is also a replica of what the instruction manual would look like for the Neo Geo game. And of course it's been updated for the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation controller. Yeah, information on the enemies and the items. And then in the back we have a section for notes. All right, and next we have the art cards. So there are three art cards included. And then we have the poster. So another creased poster. Uh, this one is only one-sided. All right, that's about what you might expect. And then we have the game. Here's the box. This is also what your standard edition would look like. It does support two players. There is no reversible art. And here is the game card. All right, so this is Metal Slug 3, the classic edition for the PlayStation Vita, and this is everything you get in the box. Let's get on with the gameplay. So apparently the PlayStation TV does not have native support for PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 arcade sticks, which is kind of odd because it does work with the DualShock 3 and the DualShock 4, but arcade sticks just doesn't happen. So after doing a little bit of research, uh, I found out that I can get an adapter, I ended up getting this thing, which will adapt any gaming controller that has a USB port to any game system that has a USB port. So that's pretty cool. I figured uh, normally if this was just an adapter that allowed me to use an arcade stick with the PlayStation TV, I probably wouldn't get it, but this does so much more than that. It'll, it'll also work with newer systems that can be updated. Um, and then also you can have programmed scripts, you can remap buttons. There's even like cheat scripts and stuff like that. So I thought this has got a lot of cool features. Uh, so I thought, you know, this might be a nice thing to add to my gaming arsenal. Um, but anyway, that being said, looks like now I can finally use my arcade stick. Let's plug this in and continue on. By the way, I'm also including a link in the description below so that you can buy this adapter if you're interested. All right, so this is Metal Slug 3. If you just want the digital version of this game, be aware that there is a Metal Slug anthology available for the PSP without trophies for only $20, which includes seven different Metal Slug games, including this one, and that is also playable on the PlayStation Vita. Then there is the anthology for PlayStation 4, which does have trophies, seven Metal Slug games, and also only $20. The anthology seems to be the better value, but 
This game does feature a different trophy list. If you're a trophy hunter, this might interest you. And it does also support online multiplayer, which the anthology does not. So yeah, Metal Slug 3 is an arcade run and gun game. This version features both online co-op multiplayer and ad hoc co-op. So you can connect directly to another Vita without the need for an internet connection, which is pretty nice for road trips. The levels in this game are so diverse. There are jetpacks, submarines, zombies, aliens, tanks, mechs, and just so much action. Each of the levels will feel completely different from each other. Although the game is short, around an hour to complete, there are multiple different paths and secret areas to access, so you should be able to get a little variety in multiple playthroughs. But the real driving factor to keep going from there is probably going to be playing with friends or trying to complete the trophy goals, such as beating each level without continuing or completing level two as a zombie, you know, stuff like that. In the options, you can adjust different settings, such as number of lives, but if you change it from the defaults, you won't be able to unlock the trophies. However, it shouldn't be too difficult anyway, since you can save and load as many times as you need in order to meet the trophy goals. As with all Metal Slug games, the sprites are beautifully animated, and the action is over the top. Unfortunately, on the Vita, I did experience a bit of slowdown when there were too many sprites and explosions on the screen, but it didn't really negatively affect my experience. For some reason, you can't shoot diagonally with a standard gun in this game, which is something I take for granted when playing games like Contra. You can just shoot straight up, down, or left and right, making some enemies a little difficult to hit at times. Overall, this game is a blast, and this is a pretty good port especially with online and ad hoc support. It's funny, I thought for sure the PlayStation TV would support PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 arcade sticks, especially since it supports both the DualShock 3 and 4 controllers. Well, it looks like the adapter I bought should work for lots of other purposes anyway. It can basically convert anything USB. Uh, but yeah, in case you're interested, I've included a link in the description below where you can purchase the adapter. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.